Welcome to your Sunday close-up view shave of the day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, I am using my Parker, and this is the best silver steel, and it is Swedish steel. That is Japanese made, and it is quarter hollow. All right, it's a good shaver too. I really like this one. Now for our soap tonight, we're using Stash Soap Works, and this is Sunday morning. Really fantastic scent, very complex. I enjoy it, I do. I have had that putt blooming, so we're gonna pour off that bloom water. We're putting that on as a pre-shave, yeah, because that's what we do. We try to do anything we can do to take care of that beard, and hydrate it before the shave. Yep, so that's good. You know, you could even use uh, pre-shave creams. I would stay away from the pre-shave oils with a straight razor. It doesn't work as well as it does with a DE. Yeah, but. We got that going on. Now for my brush tonight, yeah. This is the Grand Bamboo, yeah. That is bamboo, and that is a 30 millimeter maggot razor, black and white tuxedo knot, excellent. It is synthetic, so it has not been soaking. I'm gonna go ahead and get that wet and get most of the water out of it. Okay, there we go. And let's get that brush loaded up tonight. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you are having a nice weekend, being able to relax, enjoy yourself, be with family and friends. Yeah. And maybe uh, getting some good shaves. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, hopefully this uh, finds you well and uh, you are in high spirits yeah that is good yeah hopefully uh, like i say uh, you're being able to relax too you know that is so important have that downtime be able to relax enjoy yourself and you know just maybe unplug from the world right Worlds, there's so much going on, so much craziness. It's nice to just unplug from it and uh, not be bothered. Yep. All right, here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so now I'm going to stop right there. We're going to go ahead and clean up around that bowl like normal. And we'll put uh, some of that on the face like that and then I'll put the rest on the brush yep so we got that going there got that going so I'm just gonna work this in and uh, let me encourage you while I'm doing this to uh, go ahead come up with uh, your own shaving ritual you know how do you shave? What do you do? Um, what are the steps you take? And just do it. Do it the same way every time. And uh, that way you will get uh, more comfortable with this process. Plus, you can uh, uh, work on some muscle memory as well. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. That is so good. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on. And this has a marvelous, marvelous scent. It is lovely. It really is. So, uh, oh, by the way, it also uh, is definitely a lather, wonderful lathering. So, it can take some water as well, which is always good. Now, the other thing is... Uh, you know, when you're 
making these lathers, these killer lathers and everything. If, uh, if it is too pasty, you may find uh, that your razor sticks uh, more to your face. So that soap to water ratio needs to be really worked on. And if you can get it where you got the right uh, soap to water ratio, it'll be slick and give you the good cushion. And then uh, your razor will glide better. There we go. Nice. Now, and I did put that in my Crown King scuttle, which is the travel scuttle, and it has hot water in it, which is marvelous. I'm really enjoying it. I really am. It is so good. Now, this is uh, going to be past one. Now, we do these multi-pass shapes, okay, and the first pass is normally with the grain, second pass could be uh, across the grain or against the grain, and the third pass normally is against the grain. So uh, let me encourage you to find out how your beard grows as well, and you can uh, go ahead and, you know, figure out which way is with the grain, which way is across the grain, which way is against the grain. All right, now I do the Street Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You could click on this one up here to see the top 10 rules for newbie straight razor shavers, which I think will help you if you are new. All right, it's really good. So you check that out. And down in the uh, comments, go ahead, give me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you, all right? Now, again, this is pass one for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. So, we're going to go ahead and put this a spine width off my face, and it is quarter hollow, but that still works. So, if we look at it like this, And we're remembering to stretch. There we go, nice. Now, go ahead, get that razor cleaned off. And let's get right over here. And we're gonna get the chin now. And again, it's gonna be pretty flat. And I hit a bump already. No big deal though, don't worry about it. Now, let's go ahead and get up here.
There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some soap on that spot and it's going to be fine. It will. Yep. There we go. Now we are going to switch hands and get this other side. And looks like I hit a little bump right there as well. So uh, today is my day to hit bumps. Now it is part of shaving, so you know it again. It's not a big deal. Uh, I, you know, when you're doing this, I would have a, a styptic pencil just in case you get a bad cut. But if it's something simple and little like what I've got going on, you just go ahead, put some soap on it. It'll be fine. Yeah. So now I'm going to stretch again. We're going to put that on there. We're going to cock it up a spine width. There we go. Nice. Now we'll get that blade cleaned off again and finish up here. There you go. Pass one complete. Now Get that cleaned off and we're gonna see how we did oh nice all right and we do multi-pass shaves with each pass you get a closer shave a better shave so don't try to get it all in the first pass right that's not gonna be good it isn't. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on. And we'll get going. Oh, and that lather is nice and warm. That feels good. It does. And I'm twisting that brush as I go. That way uh, I don't get uh, lather buildup on the bottom of the brush. That falls off. There we go. Nice. If you're new around here go ahead and let us know down in the comments all right and if you have questions or comments put them there we would love to welcome you and uh, 
I will answer them and so will a lot of other of the people that are on this channel. We got a lot of good people. Down in the description of this video, I have got a ton of links for street razor shaving and honing videos and playlists that you can check out. So you can check that out after you're done watching this one. All right. Now, this is pass two. For me, that's primarily going to be against the grain. Let's do this. And look at this peaky soap. Isn't that great? <laughs> that stuff is amazing. Really good soap. Lift it up as high as I can. I'm holding down my neck. That stretches that whole neck area. And I know a lot of times right through here, it looks like I'm going crossways, but I'm not. I'm actually lifting that blade off just a little bit each and every time. So we don't shave like this. We only shave perpendicular to the blade, okay? If you shave the other way, you will get cut and it's not gonna be pretty, not at all. So now I'm gonna switch hands. We're gonna get this other side. Nice and flat. Especially on these uh, against the grain passes. Now, we're going to go ahead and switch up that handle. There we go. And switching it up again to get this section. There we go. Now, let's clean that blade off again. And we're gonna get this side. There we go. Nice, nice. Now, get that cleaned off again. We're gonna do up here. Now, 
and down here. There we go. All right. Now, let's get this last little bit. There we go. Pass two complete. Now, Get that blade cleaned off. We're going to get that face rinsed off as well. Nice. All the cheeks are good right where they are. And let me uh, remind you, go ahead and experiment. Find out what works for you. All right. Now I got a couple of little spots there, so we're going to just put some soap on it, and I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Now this is the half pass. If you haven't seen the half pass revealed and reloaded, click on that card. Uh, that will give you more explanation. But basically what we're doing here is an against the grain pass on my jawline and my neck. This is how I found works best for me. Uh, it may work for you, I don't know. So you'll have to experiment and find out, uh, depending on your beard growth and how everything works. But again, it's good to try. So keep trying to get what works for you, okay? Now, this is the half pass. And that, for me, primarily is going to be against the ground, my jawline, my neck. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Really good. Yep. Again, nice, easy touch. Light. And uh, come in easy as well. There we go. Hopefully uh, that worked better for you because uh, I know in the last video uh, it didn't work quite as well on this side of my face as I wanted. So hopefully you saw that better. There we go. Nice. Now get that cleaned off one last time. There we go. All right.
Now the shave in the books. Good one too, I think. Let's find out. I think it's going to be just marvelous. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, good shave. Good shave. Really close. Now, let's go ahead and I am going to put alum, which also will help those bumps we hit as well. The styptic pencil, if it was worse, you could always use that. And I would suggest you have that on hand, matter of fact. That would always be a good idea. And uh, even the uh, Allen would be a good idea. There we go. So, now we're going to dry that off. Yeah, the Allen would be a good idea to have as well because it's antiseptic and astringent, which uh, will be good for the skin and if you can't tolerate the alum that's okay you can always go with uh, cold water or you could go with the alum and then rinse it off with cold water before you do anything else now that was payers and this is the lemon so this is lemonade for the face this is so good this is one of my favorites from them as well so uh, you know, that might be something for you to look into. And now for our kind of cologne aftershave thing, we're going with Clubman, Panade Clubman, and this is the Musk. Yep. So we go ahead and get a little bit of that on there. That's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. That is good. And we're going to top this shave off with Nivea. And this is the cooling post shave balm. That's what I used last time. And it has a fantastic scent. So just get it. Give it a try. I think you may like it. I really do. And the cooling part is not like menthol. It is just the ingredients in it that are somewhat cooling to the skin so this could be used even in the winter it's really good you can also click on this card to see why you can't hone a straight razor may be very helpful click over here to see my latest video click down here on a video specially picked out for you click over here on me subscribe like comment share this video with your friends have a great shave and a good day and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.